All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so for security purposes, we're gonna go ahead and create a session. So if you're not familiar with sessions, sessions are to avoid getting hacked by an intruder. Our computers and CMS will recognize each user, each user by their session. So each user has a different session and nobody should be on anybody other sessions. So if I'm the admin, I'll have a session for that. And if a coworker logs in, he'll have a different session. This again is just for security purposes. So we don't have to go through, we don't have to pass through a bunch of security uh, like going from page to page. I mean, we know we have to pass through our security page going from our login.php page and our new underscore fact.php page. But sessions will make it so when I'm on the computer and I'm and I'm logged in, I'm the only one that's on that session, I guess, and I don't have to ever ask for my password again. So, and if this doesn't make sense, I'll do another side video on sessions when I'm done with this video, if you're seeking a further understanding. So what I'm gonna do, this is how you call sessions. We need to call it, uh-oh, so I'm gonna just go to the top above the HTML, or above anything, and let's create a PHP tag, and we'll just call session underscore start, that's the function, and we'll close that out, and we'll save it just like that. Now I'm gonna go down to our found underscore user right here and I'm gonna go ahead and create our session so it's kinda of like a post variable no well, it's got the it's the capital uh, letters session with the uh, the underscore right there so session and let's go ahead and source in our user underscore ID and we'll set it equal to this variable, found user equals found user with an index of our ID with our primary key in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this for our username as well. Let's go ahead and pull in username. Just like that. Okay, but there's one small problem. Um, sessions needs to be on every page. I mean, it's gonna re redirect to our faculty.php page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just steal this right here, this PHP. And you can either put this on every single one of our pages or just put it in our includes folder. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just grab this little bit of information right there, go to TextMate, new, paste that in there, and we'll save it as, where are you? Oh, we're already in our folder. Okay, so let's find our includes folder, just like that, and we'll save it to session.php, and now let's go ahead and just source that in. So let's go ahead and we can delete that now. PHP require once. And let's just go ahead and grab the rest of this code right here. We'll copy it, paste it in there. But instead of connect, we'll use session. And in the next video, we'll talk more about sessions so you guys get a better understanding of what they are. But again, it's just for security purposes. Now go ahead and grab this code and put this on all of your web pages. All right, guys, good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video.